with 19. Now, when I say elite sportsman, you automatically think of a 61-year-old potato farmer wearing gumboots, don't you? Sometimes you have events that sort of uh, tickle a nation's funny bone or something grabs their attention and with Cliff Young it sort of it appealed to us on so many different levels. And he used to run in gumboots, he was the worst dressed sports person we've ever had. These days of course, you know, Nike would have been there getting very special slick gumboots. Cliff Young was, as his name suggested, young at heart. He embodied the never say die attitude many aspire to, but few achieve. What the interesting thing about Cliff Young is is that he wanted to do it and it was remarkable what he did I and mean, he didn't cheat he actually did it oh it's been a pretty tough run the hills all the way to here anyway and day after day cliffy young the cliff young shuffle and the whole nation fell in love with him incredibly at age 61 cliff became the oldest marathon winner and he took two days off the previous sydney to melbourne race record do you think that you're going to make it all the way oh yeah Oh sure, I'm going to run all night tonight and I hope to finish tomorrow. Tomorrow night, sometime. And he streeted the field, he just ripped them wide open. Kept going to Melbourne, if they hadn't stopped him, he would have finished in Perth. Cliff was awarded the first prize of $10,000. He promptly gave two grand to each of the five other runners and kept nothing for himself. An impressive and generous man, that Cliff. Cliff, will you do it again? Will you do it again? Oh, no, I don't understand.